Hey everyone, welcome to Design Lessons. Today, we're diving into how to use the Insert Character feature within the Character tool. This allows you to insert a specific character anywhere on your canvas, or even replace an existing character in an image. Let's start by seeing how to insert a character into an image. To begin, you'll need to have the original image you want to modify already placed on the canvas. Then, click on Character in the global sidebar on the left side, and click here to open the Insert Character feature. Now, we need to select the area where we want to insert the character. We recommend using lasso and slightly extending the mask beyond the character's outline for better action generation results. Next, select your character. You can click here to add a new character, or for a detailed guide on adding a new character, check out the Build a Character tutorial. For now, let's select an already trained character. Now, in the Character Description text box, Design provides a pre-generated description of the character. You can leave it as is to keep the character's original look, or you can edit it to modify the character's clothing just be sure not to delete the style description at the end of the paragraph. In the Character Action and Scene text box, describe the character's pose and the scene setting. In the Camera section, you can specify the character's direction and camera shot. For character direction, you can choose front view, back view, left view, or right view. And for camera shot, you can pick between full body or upper body. You can mix and match these settings however you like, or if you don't have specific preferences, just use the auto mode for more freedom. Finally, click Generate to create your image. Once the image is generated, check it out in the Results panel on the right side of the screen. If you want to have two specific characters in the same image, you can use both Consistent Character and Insert Character features. For example, if I want to create an image of Lip Boy and Lap Girl playing together, here's how we do it. First, click Generate Images. Select your character. Describe the scene. And adjust the settings. Then click Generate to create an image of Lip Boy playing with a random girl. All right, now let's go ahead and insert a specific character into this image. For images generated using consistent character, you'll find an Insert Character button below the image. Design will automatically open the Insert Character interface. Then, mask out the random girl and click here to select the character you want to use. You can either replace just the head of the character or the whole body. If you want to keep the random girl's outfit, just insert Lap Girl's head. Choose your brush, mask out the head of the random girl, for the character description, you don't need to change anything. Just leave the text as is. You can also describe the character's expression or leave it blank to generate it randomly. In the camera section, you can limit the character's face orientation and then click Generate to get your image. If you want to replace the entire body of the random girl, just adjust the masking range you can also edit the character description to change the character's clothing, but remember, don't delete the style description at the end. In the Action and Scene text box, describe the character's actions and set the camera direction and shot. Finally, click Generate, and you'll get your image of Lip Boy and Lap Girl. If you need to use the camera settings, there are a few mask-related tips you should keep in mind, which will help you generate the image you want. For example, let's say this image shows two people standing on the mountain, and I want to replace the man in the image, when I want to replace the entire body of the man in the original image and keep the new character to match the size and proportions of the original character, so I need to do is choose a brush and mask out the entire figure. You'll notice that the masked area will be a human shape. When generating the inserted character, it will try to fill the area you've masked. So, when you want to create a full body image, 
try to draw a mask that's close to the character's body proportions. Then click Choose a Character. Pick the character you want. You can describe the character's action, and in the camera settings, select the character's orientation and full body. Click Generate. You'll have the image. If you want to create a half-body image with the man as the foreground, you'll need to mask out a half-body shape. First, click here to clear the mask area, then mask the entire area you want to fill. When the man is in the foreground, he will take up a wider portion of the frame, so you need to mask a semicircular shape. Then, choose Upper Body Camera Shot, click Generate, and wait for the magic to happen. Now you've learned how to use the Insert Character feature. Head over to Design and start creating your own images. And don't forget to click the Design icon to follow our channel so you never miss a video. See you next time.